Hi everyone, Nick here. Welcome back to another Payday 2 video. Just wanted to say I really appreciate everybody's support on the channel and thank you so much for helping me hit 350 subscribers. I don't know if I've already said that, but I'm very thankful and I never thought I'd have this many people interested in Payday 2 in these videos. So I love talking to you guys, love talking about one of my favorite games on the planet uh, in the comments. So I'll be looking forward to talking to you guys again in the comments. I read every single comment that I get, whether you think I do or not, and I comment back to almost all of them. Not all the time. Sometimes I forget, and, you know, I, I'm a forgetful person. So, besides that, just want to remind you guys that I'm still working on the Discord channel, and I have a challenge for the rest of this year. If I can hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022, I will get a Payday 2 tattoo that I will have vlogged and put on the channel. So help me hit 1,000 subscribers and you guys will get to vote on what tattoo that I get, what Payday 2 tattoo I get, and you'll get to see me get it. So besides that, I think that's all I have. Thank you so much for your support and I'll catch you in the video. Peace out. How's it going everybody? My name's Nick. Welcome back to another Payday 2 build video. Today is the third episode of our perk deck series and today we're looking at the armor perk deck. So let's go ahead and take a look at an overview of the build and then we'll delve into the other pieces of it. Alright, so for the overview of the build, our armor as probably no surprise to anybody. It's the ICTV which we've done for the last two videos, this being the third. Um, I guess we just really love the ICTV, I don't know. <laughs> we'll get some dodge builds in here eventually. For our equipment, we're going to be using the ammo bag. Now, I did make this more of a shotgun build, or I guess I should say, I made this a shotgun build. <laughs> so we're using the Moscone 12G as our primary, the Argos 3 as our secondary, our throwable will be the Javelin, in case we need it for uh, some extra damage on Bulldozer Visors, just want to try something different anyways. Melee, as I almost always use the Electrical Brass Knuckles. In this scenario, you actually may be better off using a different melee, but this is just what I prefer. Skills, we'll go over that here in a second, but as you can see, almost all of our skills is an Enforcer, and then we have some in the Fugitive Tree as well, and our perk deck is Armor. So let's go ahead and check out the skills. Alrighty, so I just want to preface this by saying, I understand this is a really weird uh, build. <laughs> Whenever I make these builds, I always try and do something that's um, not normally done, or to try something just a little bit different. So... Uh, of course, as always, leave comments down below what you would change, what would be better to make this build work a little bit better, um, and I'll take that into consideration, and I'll probably talk to you back and comment back. I like talking to everybody in the comments, so um, look forward to talking to you guys here soon. But to start things off in the skills, I have a little bit here just to help with in case I need to do any resing, especially for playing on Deathwish. So I got Combat Medic Basic in order to have a little bit of damage reduction. Um, you know, after and during reviving another player. Uh, and then we also have painkillers so that my crewmates take 30% less damage once they get res. So if you're playing on Death Sentence and you don't have painkillers and you're wanting to do a lot of resing, then um, you definitely are gonna wanna have painkillers. I picked up Force Friendship just to pick up some extra cable ties. I grabbed Stable Shot for some extra weapon stability. We'll take a look at Enforcer here in a second. Uh, technician, I have Hardware Expert and Drill Sergeant. I have Steady Grip Basic and Fire Control Basic, just so I can have some extra accuracy while firing from the hip, since that's all I do with shotguns. For Ghost, I have Duck and Cover and Parkour Basic for some extra movement, as well as Second Wind, so if my armor breaks, um, I can move faster for or 30% faster for five seconds allows me to get uh, behind cover really fast and it also pairs well with the armor perk deck which allows us not to take any damage after our armor breaks for two seconds so it allows us to get out of the way really fast if need be and the fugitive tree we have nine lives aced now this is where maybe things are a little bit different maybe not i don't know everybody loves berserker so who knows uh, i picked up martial arts basic Bloodthirst Ace to get a little bit extra uh, reload speed as well as extra damage with our melee attack. I grabbed Berserker Ace and I grabbed Frenzy Ace. Now, what these virtually do is Frenzy is going to cut our health down to only 30% of maximum health, but we're going to take um, we're going to take 10% less damage, and with an Ace. The damage taken is now reduced by 25%, so we're going to take 25% less damage, which you'll actually see in the gameplay really comes in handy. <laughs> so you'll see that, and then Berserker is the lower the health that you are, the more damage that you do. 
Now, uh, if you want it to apply to your weapons, you have to have that ace, so that's why that's aced. Now for the enforcer tree, starting with the shotgunner section, as you saw in the overview, we're using shotguns with this build, so uh, we're going to have underdog ace, which allows us to have even more damage reduction if we have three or more enemies that are within 18 meters, last for about 7 seconds. We have shotgun CQB, that's faster reloading. Shotgun Impact, which increases stability and also increases uh, damage that's done with shotguns. So with that tacked on top of Berserker with that low health, then you know we're going to be packing a punch. We have Close By Basic, which allows us to hit fire while sprinting. And we have Overkill Basic as well, which we will receive a 75% damage increase when we kill an enemy with a shotgun or the portable saw, which we're not going to be using. But with a shotgun, that's where it matters. Now for tank, we have Resilience Ace. I hate flashbangs, so I always ace it. I have Transporter and Die Hard Basic. This is 50% uh, less damage while interacting with objects, and Transporter allows us to throw bags 50% further. I have Shock and Awe Ace. Now, um, we actually, on our secondary, the Argos, we have AP Slug Rounds, which allows us to shoot through shields. So most of the time, we're actually not going to need this. I grabbed this because if I'm using the Moscone and I'm shooting into a crowd of uh, cops, then I'm able to take down or push down um, enemy shields, which allows me to either switch back to my Argos to take them out, or I can reload really quick and then maybe shoot them from you know down underneath, maybe around their leg area. Um, so I put that in there. Bullseye Aced uh, allows us to regenerate an additional 20 armor for each successful headshot. Now, at first, I didn't think this would matter as much since we uh, probably get a lot of hip fire. Um, since we get a lot of body shots, what I mean, excuse me. Since we get a lot of body shots, I wasn't thinking I'd be getting a lot of headshots with shotguns, but I actually found myself using this very often. So, um, Bullseye Aced is really nice, especially since we're really focused on our armor. If we lose our armor, and after that two seconds where we can actually get hit on our health, we're probably going to go down. So, we definitely want to keep all that armor. Iron Man Ace to get the ICTV, no surprise there. And since I wanted to use the ammo bag, we have Scavenger Basic, which I almost pick up with every build anyways. Bulletstorm Basic and Extra Lead Ace. Now that we've looked at all of our skills, let's take a look at the perk deck and the weapons. The armor perk deck is actually pretty cool. Um, I didn't think I would like it as much as I did when I was playing with it. So um, I'm going to just go over kind of the main skills. We're obviously going to be skipping ones like helmet popping, which is almost on every single build or a uh, perk deck. I mean, so um, just the main ones for the armor build. If you want to check out all the additional ones, then please take a look for it yourself. Now, uh, first skill we're looking at 10% armor, an additional 10% more armor, an additional 10% more armor. And then we have an armor recovery rate is increased by 10%. And when your armor gets depleted, you will be immune to health damage for two seconds. This cannot occur more often than once every 15 seconds. So that's really important to remember. And when our armor does get broken, we need to find cover fast because we only have two seconds before we're going to get hit again. Remember, we have zero dodge. So you're not going to be dodging anything. You're going to get hit. Um, so that is really nice, though. And I found myself noticing it. Usually, you might even see, I, I mention it later in the gameplay that you'll see here soon. Um, but I didn't notice it at first. And then I started realizing, oh my gosh, I'm actually surviving off of this reinforced armor <laughs> skill in the perk deck. So, um, yeah, it's another uh, great skill that's a part of armor uh, perk deck. And then we have liquid armor where we gain 5% more armor and reduces the armor recovery time for me and our crew by 10%. So we already have uh, armor recovery rate is increased and then the time for it to recover is reduced by 10%. So we're all about armor, all about armor recovery rate and survival after armor is being broken. So now that I've gone over the armor perk deck just a little bit, let's take a look at the weapons. So let's go ahead and get the throwable and the melee out of the way. Uh, throwable, I went with Javelin. I wanted to go with something a little bit different. Um, even though we have Berserker, I'm not too concerned about getting the maximum amount of that we can get out of Berserker. I just wanted that extra damage. Now, 
that's probably stupid of me. <laughs> it's probably good to bring the Molotov cocktails in. If you really are like, I want that like 90 to 100% damage from the Berserker, then bring the Molotov cocktails. They're always great. I wanted to try something different, and so I brought the Javelins uh, in case I wanted to try and get off the uh, visors of the um, Bulldozers. And I didn't find myself using them too often, but to be fair, even if I bring the cocktails or anything else, I really don't use my throwables that often. So I just wanted to try something different. And for the melee, I'm sure there's other things that are better option, like the ice pick, who even though it has an increased charge time, your range and your damage and knockdown are increased by a lot. And since we use melee every so often with the, um, with the bloodthirsty skill that we have in our skill tree, um, you know, Ice Pick's probably a better option if I'm being honest, but I'm so used to the Electrical Brass Knuckles, I like them, and if I don't have that damage multiplier from Bloodthirsty, then you can use that to make hostages if you're in a pinch. Now, for the weapons, for the Moscone, you can pause the video and take a look at all the stats here, but you'll see them as we're going through and modifying the weapon. For the ammunition, I just grabbed the triple zero buckshot, add a little bit of extra damage, and uh, I mentioned it in the gameplay, but 2020 hindsight, I might even add AP slugs to the Moscone instead and make the Argos have the buckshot um, to kind of switch it to where my secondary is the uh, primary weapon and the primary weapon is the secondary, and I use this mostly for you know taking down shields or etc. So. Anyways, this is where we're at though. Triple zero buckshot uh, for the ammunition. No change to the barrel. I don't have any boost on here. That's because I am poor and don't have any continental coins because I spend them all the time. But you can obviously add things on here such as stability or the accuracy that gives a plus four. Uh, no need for concealment or team boost unless you just really want that plus three percent. Woohoo. So, um, you know, stability or accuracy. No charm and no stock. Pretty basic, right? Now for our secondary, the Argos 3, which I absolutely love, uh, you can take a look at the stats right here. You can pause the video if you'd like, but you'll probably see it as we go through anyways. Now for the ammunition, I have the AP slug, and you'll notice in the gameplay, I use this pretty often, so um, I just love this thing. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, the barrel extension I have on the King's Crown Compensator, which is going to add to damage and accuracy and subtract from the concealment. I don't have a boost on, but again, stability and accuracy, probably what you want to go for if you decide to do that. For my exclusive set, I'm using the Triple Tech Threat, which adds accuracy and stability, and it's going to give us a really cool three laser prong thing. I, I don't know what to call it. You'll see it. No on the extra because we can't do it with the exclusive set. Nothing for the gadget because we already have the lasers. No sight because I hip fire most of the time anyways. And for the stock, I'm using the flak frame null stock, which gives us just some more stability and subtracts from the concealment. So now that we've taken a look at an overview of the build, the skills, the perk deck, and the weapons, let's take a look at some gameplay. Hi guys, just wanted to give a quick disclaimer before we get into the gameplay. This gameplay is going to be on Death Wish. Um, this build on Death Sentence is, uh, you can make it work, but it is a little bit harder. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's a little bit harder to really get the most out of it. So I wanted to have fun and just really show you guys how I was thinking in my head how this build would work. So I decided to play on Death Wish. And I also had somebody in the lobby who asked me beforehand, hey, I really just want to play on Death Wish. And I was like, eh, okay, this may just not be the footage I use. It ended up being, ended up being footage that I really liked and was like, hey, this kind of showcases the build pretty good. So hopefully that's okay with you guys. I'll be sure to put that in the comments as well. And um, if you guys want to see more on Death Sentence, be sure to let me know, and I'll try and do that more in the future. See you in the gameplay. Peace out. Nice and easy. Time for a casual stroll into the bank, yeah? No. Okay, guys. Ladders are ready to way to the bank for you. You what? You remember my brother? Well, he's coming down from Chihuahua to give you a hand. Oh, bloody. Now 
this is on death wish but it's fine get down watch the civilians move one more time take the winch chain and hook it to the dello window let's open this goddamn thing up. I literally just ran right past it. Okay, you're going to have to find the RD guy so he can open them up for you. Get down! We're playing on Death Wish. Um, let me handle this. Escort the donkey to the server room. If you give you any trouble, break some fingers. I don't know why I'm telling him to. <laughs> there we go. We're playing on a uh, Death Wish um, for a couple on, of reasons. Let's One, open the, door. the guy in my lobby was like, "I really don't want to play on Death Sentence." So I was like, "Fair enough, man." And secondly, I just enjoy Death Wish more. <laughs> uh, so here we are. I'll be completely honest. Death Sentence with this build is. Um, you can make it work, but I wouldn't say it's very strong if, if, if I'm just being straight up. Um, it definitely needs a few tweaks, and I'm sure I'm forgetting something with the build that would make it more decent and viable, but, uh, you know, here we are. Thought I'd be able to hit the other guy with the second round, and uh, and this is a really weird build, but I just love the Moscone. It's honestly one of my favorite weapons in the game. And I also figured this is a weapon that everybody's pretty much familiar with, especially if you uh, have like the console version of Payday 2, then uh, you'll be like, oh yeah, I have the Moscone. So I'd say if, if you're going to replace something, uh, like replace the Argos, um, then probably something like the Locomotive or maybe the GSPS if that's available on console. I haven't played console in a little bit, so I don't really remember everything that's on there. I don't know why I shot twice there, but it's fine. But the Argos is so much fun to use if you have it. Especially when you're reloading, since it reloads uh, two at a time. So you can put in, like, you know, AK one shell, but it puts in two when you're reloading. So you can always reload really quick. Wow. Especially if you suck like I do. <laughs> All right, we're through. Originally on this build, uh, unless I end up changing it again, <laughs> this footage is the light of day. Who knows? But originally on this build, I had Hostage Taker. But since I'm using Frenzy anyways, it's kind of like just don't get down <laughs> and if you do get down especially if you're on Descent where if you get res you don't have as much health to work with then uh then you know you're up on your berserk anyways so
I'd say this build on Deathwish is very comfortable, in my opinion. It's very comfortable. You'll you'll have some fun with it. Um, of course, I mean, there's probably a lot of builds you can use on Deathwish. But, um, head from HR, oh no. And he left. I don't know why people keep doing that. It's also nice to bring javelins. I learned this from, it may have been Embers. He comments a lot on my videos, so I'm sure you guys have seen it by now if you look at the comments. And probably by the time you're watching this, he probably already has. But he usually gives me really good tips on um, how to improve the build and everything. And one of the things he, uh, one of the piece of advice he gave on a previous build was if you're having trouble with the bulldozers, grab some javelins to, uh, you know, break break off the, um, the visor on the bulldozers. And I was like, you know what? Why haven't I tried that? So, I'd say that's, again, one of the bigger issues you're going to have. But to be honest with the Moscone, is if you get two well-placed shots, his visor is gone. Reload that sucker real quick. Put in a couple more shells. And, uh, should be going down. So, I don't, I don't know why I'm really taking hostages. I don't even have hostage taker or anything, but I don't know. Go, buddy, go. I'm going to attempt to grab this. Come with me. You're doing a great job, Chains. Uh, oh, it's a... Ow, ow, ow. Chains, I don't know if I... I'm going to be honest, Chains. I'm not going to try and get you up. Okay, time to go. Let's crouch in between here. We got that fast recovery speed. Argos is doing work. There's a lot of guys here. I can't hit my shots. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Zerk lovers going crazy if they're looking at my health right now. Eh. Oh, do we have another... I don't need a... Oh. Please hold pumpkin tier. We should be fine. Um. Oh boy. <laughs> There's just too many cops out there, man. It would have been way too hard. But the question is... Where's the other bag? Is that the bag? Up there? Go ahead and pull out the Argos. Really nice for crowd control. Pick it up. Uh oh, I'm down. I'm alive somehow. An absolute miracle. I'm also a little bit too reckless with this build. But I guess you can kind of be reckless if you're, uh,. If you're playing on Death Wish. Pumpkin tier. Uh, I'm not really sure how you just got up. I'm gonna say it's Messiah that got you up. 
Pistol Messiah, whatever it's called now. I'm pretty sure they've changed the name a couple times. Uh oh. I'm alive! Oh my lord. It's really fun to use this build. I, I don't know. I really, I really like using the Argos. Oh, well, you know, if I can hit my shots. Snake! Snake! Why is it taking so long? Do, do, do. Trade the teammate. Come on in. Random letters. Now I need to go get some parts for the beast, which should be out here, I think. Oh, nice. 20 second timer for the lock pick they're on the roof there's something wrong with the drill you got to repair it I also really like having uh I really like having the um, armor piercing rounds on this thing. It's so nice. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some as well. I was trying to see what suit he was wearing. just hopped in the no <laughs> no you're both gonna go and why did you do that no <laughs> no what are you guys doing to me cover me buddy Some health. There's some. What is this? I'm gonna go ahead and pop down an ammo bag here and grab this and. Go ahead and pick up the boy. Random letters. Just the... Just being able to, I mean... 
take so much damage resistance is insane with this build. I mean, if you get your armor broken, you're pretty much ruined, but... Fix up the drill here. I honestly feel pretty confident with this build. It's pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie. If you don't like double barrels, then I guess my advice to you would be to go basic and grab the Isma. <laughs> That's pretty much every shotgun build, but at the same time, it's just really good. Always a solid choice. Because you do reload a lot with the Moscone, so I find myself often wanting to just use the Argos, even though I do love the Moscone. But, um, if you don't use that primary, then you're going to run out of your secondary pretty quick. I'm just happy I was able to get a hundred... 100% berserk. <laughs> it's pretty wild. If you're able to do that in death sentence, then you will uh, be pretty happy. Velocal waffles. I like it. ambitious. See, that's another thing with this build, is you just... <laughs> as long as you don't suck. <laughs> you know, I've said, it, I've said it once, and I'll say it again. If you don't suck, you'll like the build. See, me, I am just not good. I still like the build, but I miss my shots a lot. We all know it's true. It's okay. We can all talk about it. Hindsight 2020, what may be a good idea is not to make your secondary the one with the AP slugs, but actually your Moscone, and use your Argos as if it's a primary. Good work, pal. I like his suit. I think he's using the, um... 
Oh, what's it called? Uh, whatever came with the music pack. Oh, did I not get it up there? Eh. Can you not toss it over there? I must just be missing. I completely missed. I wanted to be all fancy. There was another medic there the whole time. That's why. Oh, buddy. We're fine. Dozer killed. I like the suit, man. It looks cool. Protected by the shield. <laughs> I shot him through the wall. Oh man, this game can be so goofy. I love it. Alright, we fight our way out of here, lads. Did I get... I don't think I got the zip line. I think I've broken my personal record, guys. Have you broken yours, maybe? Got the medic! Right, now, hurry and collect all of that precious loot and take it outside. Chop, chop. <laughs> Wait, I have to shove this casing aside. It's building a little say that it's down, but... The issue we're going to deal with now is actually being able to get out of here. Because of all of the snipers! <laughs> I haven't heard that voice before, that's funny. Take it! Oh lord, oh lord. Good deal. I don't know if the uh, AI just took care of that, or... <laughs> gonna go down oh my lord it really comes in handy that two seconds that you get that two seconds you get with armor where you don't take any damage actually comes in handy oh my goodness The dozer just turned to me. <laughs> he is going to smack me with that shotgun. Oh, 
I would say to keep getting more, I'm just really scared that if I go down, that, which is possible, even though my armor's holding up really well, um, just scared if I go down, what's gonna happen with my teammates. I'm not sure what I got that achievement for, but that's fine. 